Me and my people be rolling, scheming on you and your homies. The very first day of summer, all grown out in a hummer bay. Hit the park and parlay, hope that you walk this away. Cause you and your girls wanna ride, play all day, puff on the line. Say what, say what, say what? You know that I like it, baby. Ooh, girl, you know what's up, and you know what I need. Ooh. Say what, say what, say what You know that I'm out and feeling Girl, you know what's up mm -hmm. I'm digging you I'm feeling you Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, tap that subscribe button, consider it for real, so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, and welcome back. Today is Small Talk Saturday, and I know I've been slacking on the Small Talk Saturday, but let me tell you what it is in case you're new. Small Talk Saturdays is a special time on my channel where we can talk about different things that are important to us on this channel. Now, when I originally started Small Talk Saturdays, I did start off giving YouTube tips, and I have a slew of videos featuring different tips on how to grow your channel, how I grew to 10,000 subscribers in my first year, how to read your analytics, how to increase your engagement, a whole bunch of different topics that are very valuable. I'll leave the playlist for my YouTube tips down below. Definitely check it out. But Small Talk Saturdays is not just about YouTube tips. I wanted it to be more of like a time for us to have a girl chat, girl talk about anything that is important to us, which is why I say that at the beginning of every Small Talk Saturday video. So we're gonna switch things up a little bit. From now on, I will be doing my hair on camera and be talking about a certain topic and it'll be just a nice time for us to talk about things outside of hair because I like to chit chat. I love hearing your opinions on different things. So that's what Small Talk Saturday is gonna be. So if you are excited for that, definitely leave me an encouraging comment down below. So today, y'all saw the title. We are talking about something YouTube related, but not necessarily tips. This is about the five things I absolutely love about YouTube and a few things I can do without. I've been a content creator on YouTube for over a year and a half now. I started in January, 2019. And currently I'm on my way to 20,000 subscribers. I'm floored by it. I'm so amazed by that and it's all because of you all so i just wanted to take some time talk do some hair about some things i really like about youtube share it with you all and we can have some discourse in the comments once again i'm filming a little bit late today due to my work duties some of y'all know i am a teacher that is what i've been doing for the past eight years i teach pre-k so that comes first during the work week but i do make time for my youtube stuff as well so yeah I'm just now sitting down to record for today, but that's okay. If for some reason the light starts getting too low for me, I'll probably switch to my ring light, but let me not hold y'all any longer and let's get into the hair for today. So today I'm gonna be showcasing two wigs by Altre. New wigs from their Melted Hairline series, Altre Kamaya and Altre Liliana. Liliana, yeah. Kamaya has been making waves on these YouTube streets. I've seen quite a few videos on it. My wig base have been slaying her. So of course I have very high expectations. Now, due to all of what I was seeing while I was on vacation, I couldn't wait. Normally, I showcase wigs fresh out the pack, but I was like, F it, I'm wearing her. <laughs> we going out. <laughs> so I wore Kamaya while I was in Tulum, Mexico the other week. Loved her. I wore her for a few hours and she just was giving what the girls needed to see. So I'm excited to present her to you all today while chit-chatting about some YouTube. All right, so... This is what Kamaya is looking like straight out the pack. And of course, your girl had to get that lovely ginger brown color. Y'all see that? Come on. Altre has the color game on lock when it comes to these synthetic units. I swear to God. I love it. Love, love, love it. The dimensions in this unit, absolutely beautiful. You have reds, oranges, browns, like a 33-30 color, the auburn. And look at that dark root, y'all. Look at the blending. I swear, synthetic wigs have come such a long way from when I first started wearing them. It used to be like, 1B, shh, blonde. <laughs> and I used to not care about it, but now that they are doing a better job at blending these dark roots, I'm like, why would I go back? You feel me? 
So this is Kamaya. I already tinted the lace because I wore her. I'm a brown melanated woman. So normally I would go in with this first. Darkest brown color. This is the darkest shade that even has. And I'll link, leave a link down below. Love this tint spray. It gets the job done. When I wore Kamaya, I did not have my tint spray with me. This time I just used my CoverGirl foundation, which is also linked below, to tint the lace. She does have two combs over here in the front and a comb in the back, adjustable straps, and then there's an elastic band, which to me feels pretty weak. I don't really feel like this is doing much of anything, but it's fine. The Melted Hairline series has a frontal effect hairline, so basically that means it looks like you're wearing a frontal, but you're actually just wearing a lace front of sorts. You can't change the parting, so the, the parting space it comes with, that's it. If you try to change it, you're gonna run into some track here. So. Keep it where it is. I think you can shift this one without the ends being uneven. I absolutely love this so much. <laughs> so basically I'm gonna start getting into styling. I'm a little nervous about this video because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to style and talk effectively at the same time, but we're gonna see, okay? Tossing Miss Kamaya on. So this video is all about what I love about YouTube, right? And the very first thing that I love about YouTube Hands down are my subscribers. Y'all are literally the bread and butter of this channel. Y'all show me an insane amount of love. I swear, when I read these comments, and if you are new here, I read every single comment, I respond to every single comment, because your girl has time. <laughs> And it's important to me to engage with you all. So that's why I like to make the time to respond. I actually have a Small Talk Saturday video all about increased engagement and I make a point of that. Y'all should check that video out. It was really good. So I love y'all. I love the fact that you are committed to is that your hair. I love everyone that showed up to my premiere. No. To the, to the I feel like you're not going to be with me. I feel like you're going by yourself. <laughs> Y'all be going in for these premieres, man. It, it really brings me joy. See, you looking at me like, oh, they really rock with you. I'm like, I guess they do. <laughs> and y'all also hold me accountable. Like sometimes I'll say things and it won't come into fruition. And somebody will call me out like, girl, didn't you say you was gonna start doing a tutorial Tuesday on Instagram? Ooh, did I say that? <laughs> I love that though because y'all, I can tell y'all are here to make me better. You know what I mean? And that is, that's invaluable to have that type of community on my page. If it weren't for y'all, is that your hair would not be here. So shout out to everyone who's watching with me in the premiere party on a Saturday, watching this video with me. Thank you so much. And I really hope that you all enjoy the new format of Small Talk Saturdays. I really do. So right now y'all can see that Miss Kamaya, it's a look. Girl, who is she? I am going to use this bedhead spray, spray it along the perimeter, and then blow dry, and then we'll be pretty much done with Miss Kamaya. So another thing that I absolutely love about YouTube is the vast learning community. Literally, y'all, anything that you need to know in life, <laughs> is on YouTube. And remember, YouTube is derived from Google. It's a search engine for videos, okay? So use it to your advantage. When I first started on YouTube, a few months in, as I realized I was getting more serious about it, I was like, yo, I need to learn my analytics. I'm a teacher by trade, so I'm no stranger to data. It's basically part of my DNA at this point. So YouTube is no different. I sought out YouTube videos to figure out my analytics and to learn them like the back of my hand to the point where I'm just very comfortable in my analytics tab now. And if you are a content creator, you should feel the same working on YouTube. Whoop, whoop, pull over that. Too fat, whoop, whoop. Okay, you know I gotta do an audio check because my camera's been acting funny. I'm gonna actually have to buy a camera very soon, for real. All right, y'all, so off camera, I did blow dry my edges here with this blow dryer i'll link it down below i love it it's so nifty and cute and i've seen natural joy and xoxo shiva use this i don't know why it took me so long to finally purchase one but i'm gonna be using this to blow out my edges from now on because it's just so nifty look it folds <laughs> great for travel so if you're interested, definitely check out that link. So now I'm gonna go in with my CoverGirl Tried and True D90 to get some of these ash spots. 
But yeah, that's the first thing I tell to people who are interested in YouTube, right? You need to do your research. There are so many people that kind of want the answers to be given to them, but there's not one right answer. There's so many different ways to approach the social media space in general, right? So you need to find where you fit in. And if you feel like you don't fit in, you need to make your lane, for real. Make your own way. People worry about YouTube being oversaturated for whatever they wanna do. Nah, there's a lot of people doing different things, but come on now, there's only one you. Do your research, assess what people are doing within the niche that you're interested in, and then proceed, period. And I can go on and on about this, but I'm just gonna keep it short for the sake of this video, because I have more things to say. You see how when I add that foundation, it takes away some of the white spots? You see that? Even with the sun going down, I'm seeing the blending happening! Ah, Kamaya, honey, come on in, friend. I really, really like this. I'm not laying these corner edges down because I'm definitely about to put on another wig, and yeah. But you see how She's blending with my chocolate skin so nicely. And this color is to die for. <laughs> Man, Altre has done it again. All right, so on to number three. The third thing that I love about YouTube, right? Has to be the community that I am in. The wig community, we're lit. I, I just feel like I've made so many wig friends, acquaintances, whatever you wanna call it, but literally, there are some people that I'm very close to on YouTube and we talk regular, several times a week. One of my very close friends, Kai, we talk all the time, like every freaking day. You see what I'm saying? So I just love that. I love that our niche is pretty close knit. I feel like a lot of people know the other people that do wig reviews. And I feel like we're very supportive of each other. I don't know what it was like before I started YouTube because I've been watching wig reviews since 2015, but the way it's been since I started in January 2019, I would say like, like a good five months in, I noticed like how welcoming everyone was. I feel like people commenting on your videos, finding on Instagram, following you, supporting you, liking your pictures. And it's not out of any type of obligation. Like we're not talking about engagement groups, engagement pods, no. We're not doing none of that over here. It's just genuine people rocking with you because you have good content and they support it, they're interested, and they share because they want other people to know about you. And word of mouth is everything. I collaborated with some of my favorite people on YouTube last holiday season. And it's just nice because our subscribers like seeing us come together and talk and shout each other and shout each other out and support each other. And I just think it promotes a lot of camaraderie in the wig community. So shout outs to all my wig bays. Y'all are lit, litty, litty, lit, lit. Love it. I can't really imagine not being close to the people I'm close to on here. I feel like I would feel a lot more alone in the process because there's just so many things that you don't know. Even as you research, there's just certain answers you just can't find on YouTube that you just have to learn through experience. Like I'm forever grateful for my boo Kyra Sean, very grateful for Natural Joy, very grateful for Shanice Nicole, for the Hearts and Cake 90. These are people that I've been talking to since the very beginning that have supported my journey from the very beginning and that I am in contact with on a regular basis. It just feels nice to, that we are able to support each other in this way on our individual journey. So I love the wig community, I really do. Now let's take a look at Miss Kamaya. Y'all see me? I wish y'all could see me in my full glory because the sun is going down, but y'all see this hairline? I see why people are going so bananas over her because she is perfection. Let me just give you the pros real quick. This. Texture, amazing. It feels almost like natural, yucky, almost kinky straight hair that has been flat ironed and pressed out, almost like relaxed hair. It has a nice weight to the hair. I really like that. I love the color of this unit. Blends effortlessly, seamlessly. Loving the frontal effects hairline. I mean, come on now. Is that your hair? I love that. I actually really like the density of this unit. I know some people like the Nisha units, but they are too dense for some people. This is like 130. Somewhere between 130 and 150% density. And I think it's absolutely perfect, especially for everyday wear. Kamai is giving me everything that I need. I have a medium sized head as well, and she's fitting very comfortably on my head. I definitely feel like this is big head friendly. And I think it's beginner friendly because you're not dealing with an entire frontal. You're just, you just get the effect of it, right? She's looking good. 
I'm really happy with this. Let me know how you feel about her in the comments down below. And now I'm gonna switch to my ring light and we're gonna keep talking about some of my favorite things about YouTube, so keep on watching. All right, y'all, so I am back. It's dark out, so I got the ring light on. By the way, some of you may be wondering about the cons to Kamaya. I don't have any cons, y'all. She is literally perfection to me. I, I mean, this hairline, this color, all of that, all of that. So 10 out of 10, highly recommend Miss Kamaya. I'm gonna go into the fourth thing I love about YouTube before I switch out into my second wig. So fourth thing I love about YouTube is the fact you can get paid to create. So basically there are four main ways you can get paid through YouTube. You can get paid through Google AdSense, through sponsorships, through affiliate links, and through creating paid products for people to buy from you. For me, I don't have any paid products, so I make money from Google AdSense, sponsorships, and affiliate links, okay? That is a nice plus. I got accepted into the YouTube Partnership Program, which is a part of Google AdSense, in October of 2019. And literally, I just realized yesterday that October made one year of me being monetized. Like, is that your hair being monetized? So that's something else to celebrate, yay! <laughs> and when I look at my first YouTube check versus what I just saw from my October AdSense, your girl is like, whoa, what is going on? Things really jumped up. And it's definitely due to some of my videos being popular with the headband wigs for the past two months or so. That definitely makes a difference in your AdSense. AdSense is something that cannot really be completely controlled, you know what I mean? It really depends on what's going on with YouTube, depends on your CPM, RPM, and I've discussed all these things in my YouTube tips, different videos, so definitely check out that playlist if you're curious about it afterwards. But I will say, for most people, bulk of their money if they are doing YouTube full time, a bulk of their money comes from sponsorships. And then AdSense might deliver a nice piece of change. Affiliate links also might deliver a nice piece of change. It just depends on what's going on on your specific platform. For me, at this point, I would say September was the first month where I actually was able to reach my goal when it came to sponsorships. Like I was like, okay, I have this goal. I want to make some type of four figure number from sponsorships for the month. I was able to reach that goal, which made me very, very happy. Not counting in Google AdSense. And to keep it transparent with y'all, because I really don't mind sharing like how much I've made on AdSense, because I have an entire video on that, and you could check that out. I will link it in the description box. It went from being like a couple hundred every month to shooting up to the four figure mark in one month all due to what's been going on on my channel. So I'm very grateful for that. But again, Google AdSense fluctuates and it's not tax, y'all. You have to set aside money for taxes with your AdSense revenue. So please keep that in mind for all my creators out there on the YouTube platform. Affiliate links are great too because it's residual income. I feel like I wasn't really seeing a big dent in affiliate links at first. It's one thing that takes time to cultivate. And for a long while, I, I wasn't really sure how people were making like thousands of dollars on affiliate links. Like, how are they doing that? But now that I've seen some changes in the past three months, your girl understands. <laughs> I understand how people make money on affiliate links now because I'm starting to see a major increase on my end. So I say all that to say, there are different ways to monetize your platform with YouTube and I'm very grateful and blessed that I've been able to take advantage of those things on my channel. And it's definitely something I really love about YouTube because it's become a nice part-time income for me. Not full-time, but a nice part-time income. But I definitely see how people make a full-time living and live very well off of their YouTube platforms. All right, so now I'm going to take a miss Kamaya off. I don't want to take her off. Like I said, I didn't glue this down. She looks so good though, y'all. My gosh. But I'm gonna take her off and we're gonna switch to Miss Liliana. All right, y'all. So my second wig I have here is from the Outre Melted Hairline series, Miss Liliana. I have her in the 1B color. She's a very pretty crimp style. And I like that these are nice soft crimps. I like that. She does come with the same frontal effect hairline. Look at that nice parting space there. You have your two combs in the front, comb in the back, adjustable strap, this elastic band, which doesn't really do much for me. I would just cut it out, to be honest. And she's looking good. So what I am gonna do with Miss Liliana, I'm going to try to wear her glueless. So I don't know if I'll be able to, but we'll see. I am gonna start by tinting her with my tint spray by Evan. And again, this will be linked down below.
I might be able to with some help from my foundation I normally use to blend the lace. Liliana's looking really cute. I like that. She's definitely big head friendly, y'all. Those who have larger heads, I don't think you'll have an issue. This is cute, but I noticed this texture is a little bit different on Liliana. It's like, uh, it's okay. Like it's, it's more of a yakky texture, but it's like kind of like, dry she feels dry to me not sure what that's about i feel like i need some wig conditioner or something on her why does she feel so dry but these crimps are pretty i am getting quite a bit of shedding from miss liliana as well more than from kamaya i don't know what that's about either because i didn't really cut into the lace so just keep that in mind all right yeah i'm gonna apply my covergirl foundation in the color v90 while i talk to y'all so for the fifth thing that I absolutely love about YouTube is the endless possibilities on this platform. My goodness, and I'm sure some of y'all have seen it, literally people who start YouTube channels, you know, they probably start for fun. Like a lot of us, I feel like, start because we just enjoy showcasing whatever we're good at, or maybe we become good at it as we showcase it, or maybe we're already an expert in something and people have encouraged us to let the world know on the internet, you know? There are different reasons why we start YouTube channels. But I feel like there's a whole new world once you start positioning yourself in the right place on YouTube. And I feel like I've been seeing that more and more throughout my journey. Literally, YouTube is whatever you make it. So whatever you put into this platform, you will definitely get something back. And I noticed for me, I can be a little bit of a workaholic sometimes. That's why I need to like remind myself to take breaks and sometimes a break for a week or so is good for me because i will just go all in because i'm really passionate about it but it can sometimes be to my detriment when it comes to like my self-care when i start neglecting parts of myself that's when it's like nah girl you need to say right i'm really passionate about it and i noticed that all that i put into youtube has been coming back tenfold and i'm starting to see it more as i complete my second year on here like i've been on here now for what like 20 months hasn't been two years yet but it will be in january and i feel like i'm definitely reaping the benefits of my hard work and i see that with all of my favorite youtubers on here whether they're a wig bay or from another niche you gotta put in the work and i actually put a post up about this the other day on instagram because sometimes people will complain about certain things that they're not getting or they feel entitled to but they are not even nowhere close to putting in the amount of work it would take to get that thing does that make sense comment down below if you feel me because i see this sometimes especially when people ask me questions and they feel entitled to certain information and it's just like yo like you have to do at least a little bit of research you know what i mean i love to share what i know and help people out but i like meeting people that are like me where they are thirsty for knowledge they are actively seeking and learning and growing and honing their skills and becoming one with their craft so when you do all that i feel like a lot of opportunities can open up for you on youtube and you see it all the time like with jackie Anna, she started with youtube she now has several businesses all because she decided to pick up a camera and start talking to us. I really hope that can encourage someone because who knows where I'll end up a year, two years, three years from now. Am I still gonna wanna do YouTube? I think so. I think it's YouTube is what I never knew I needed. I was born a creative, always have been, always will be, and I think this is just a great way for me to express that energy, if that makes sense. So that was me just trying to blend it to do this with like glueless, you see what I'm saying? But this powder, uh-uh, this is not gonna work for this parting space. It's like the color of my skin. You know, I'm just being lazy. <laughs> I'm just being a little bit lazy. Let me go get the proper powder. All right, y'all, so I'm back. I went off camera, shifted Liliana to the side, and I like her a lot better to the side, actually. I am wearing her glueless, y'all. See that? No glue down whatsoever. I feel like the key to wearing wigs glueless has to do mainly with the lace and the lace color and also how the wig fits on your head. That's why y'all need to cop the tint spray because this lace is not made for everyone. So you just have to tint it to your the best of your ability. When I look back at other videos where I didn't know anything about tint spray, I'm like, wow, I was struggling so hard for nothing when I could have just tinted it. Definitely cop some tint spray if you have not already. This is actually supposed to be like soft transparent hd lace according to the stock card and i think it's 
doing a pretty good job considering it's on a synthetic wig. Sometimes the HD lace on synthetic wigs are ghastly white, like what you would find on some Bobby Boss units, but this is more like a khaki color. This unit did come with a lot of lace though, which I was like, why does it have so much lace <laughs> on the unit? And the hairline is kind of low, like I would actually cut some more of this off. But I suppose if you do have a low hairline, a unit like this would be perfect for you. So I pretty much went through all the reasons why I love YouTube. I said I love my subscribers. I love that YouTube is a learning community. I love my wig community, my wig base. I love being paid to create what I want to create. And I love the endless possibilities, opportunities that YouTube offers. Now here are a few things that I could live without. I can definitely live without unconstructive criticism. There's always that one person every so often, it might be every week for some people, it might be every month, they say something that is just either mean to you or just unnecessary. And it's just like, did you even watch the whole video? Did you watch this 10 minute video that I worked so hard on? Probably not. So I'm just going to either ignore or if I have time, I will respond. I'm normally respectful though. I try not to come out of character because at the end of the day, it's not really worth it. Like I still am trying to maintain my brand in a certain way. But if I have time and I need to read you, I will. <laughs> I also can do without brands not seeing your value and this is something that I've been working on because it's easy to feel like you need to play small when working with certain companies or feel like you are not worthy of receiving a certain type of payment. So I've definitely been getting over that hump and that is why my rates for doing certain videos have gone up because I'm realizing my worth more and more each day and what I bring to the table. So to all of y'all that are out here doing video after video after video for free, no matter what your niche is, if you're working for a company that asks you for certain deliverables by a certain date, please charge something, okay? I cannot tell you how much to charge. I would suggest you just doing your research, go on Social Blue Book, or get familiar with people within your niche to see if they're comfortable talking with you about money. I feel like I lucked out with being able to have like a few close people in my circle that I can you know, bounce ideas back and forth with, but it's really something you just kind of figure out for yourself. But yes, brands not seeing my value. I have definitely learned the power of no, and I learned it earlier on, but even though I learned it earlier on, I still felt so, kind of like either what if afterwards, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I said no to all these different brands, but am I doing the right thing? Now, I'm not questioning myself anymore. I'm not questioning my decisions. Like when I say no, I'm secure in that and I can move on without feeling any type of way. You know what I mean? So that's just something that's been coming with my experiences <laughs> dealing with certain companies. However, I am very grateful for the companies that do appreciate me and continue to work with me. That's definitely a blessing. And another thing I could do without is subscribers missing my YouTube notifications. Every so often, like every other week or so, someone says like, oh, how did I miss the notification? I don't know. And I'm like, I don't know either, sis. If you have it on all notifications, like this picture shows you right here, you will receive all notifications of my content. But I know sometimes YouTube messes up and I've heard that sometimes you have to unsubscribe and resubscribe. YouTube, what's up with that? Can we fix that? Cause that should not be a thing. I don't know what that's about, but I could definitely do without that. I need for my subscribers to know when I'm dropping the heat. So yes, y'all, this concludes my video where I'm chatting with you about things that I love about YouTube. I really hope that you all enjoyed this. This was definitely different for me because I was styling and talking at the same time, which actually wasn't so bad. I really like how both these wigs turned out. I actually would have worn Kamaya glueless too now that I've done it on the Liana. Which one's my favorite? Definitely Kamaya. That style, the texture, the flowiness, the body. It's just a baddie vibe and I'm all the way here for it. Liana is definitely very cute though too. So I'm not gonna throw her under the bus. She's cute, she's cute. Now I know some of y'all have seen the drops that are happening back to back between Outre and Sensational and other companies. It's gonna continue happening through the holiday season because they're pushing out these wigs for us to buy. I see them and I have some that are on the way somewhere in my house right now waiting for me to review. So yes, I have more of that coming. I definitely have a lot more headband wigs coming. Definitely check out that playlist if you are not familiar. And of course, if you're new here, if you made it to the end, you know you may as well subscribe. Tap the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Premiere party, you've been rocking with me. Thank you so much for watching this with me. And while you're here, you may as well go on and click that next video over to the right of me and see what else I have on my channel. Thank you all so much for joining me for Small Talk Saturday. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.